black holes can turn into white in a blink of an eye. Some time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a white hole appeared. Forget black holes. Enter white holes that are spewing matter from another universe. Many scientists have spent decades trying to crack the riddle of the black hole's existence and their unprecedented nature. We are still struggling to explain exactly what a black hole is. What we do know about black holes is that they are a point or a huge region in space where the gravity is so intense and so strong that not even light can escape, meaning that they are impossible to see even with modern technology. Nothing can save you once you pass the grim point of no return, otherwise known as the event horizon. If you get inside a black hole, you are lost forever. Even though this goes against the laws of physics, which is where white holes come into the equation. There are two theories regarding this matter. First, white holes could simply be ancient black holes which have begun spewing out all of the matter and information that they sucked up over time, meaning that the information might not be gone for good. Second, white holes could be the portal of black holes from other dimensions. White holes are the complete opposites of black holes, with an unimaginable and unlimited amount of matter and information pouring out of them. It should definitely come from somewhere, right? If we take the theory of the multiverse, it might appear obvious that white holes on our side are simply black holes on the other. If black holes are sucking anything that comes close to them in one universe, everything that is being taken in one cosmos could be being poured out in another. Simple as that. A new study finds that white holes could constitute a major portion of the mysterious dark matter that's thought to make up most of the matter in the universe. Whereas nothing can escape from a black hole's event horizon, nothing can enter a white hole's event horizon. In 2014, Carlo Rovelli, a theoretical physicist at Aix-Marcel University in France, suggested that when a black hole dies, it becomes or transforms itself into a white hole. Yes, this happens too. Black holes that lose more mass than they gain are expected to shrink and ultimately vanish. Looks like everything is possible in space. Rovelli also suggested that once a black hole evaporated to a degree where it could not shrink any further, the dying black hole would then rebound to form a white hole. A black hole becomes a white hole at the end of its evaporation. Black holes result from collapsed stars, but when these astral corpses die, they may actually turn into white holes. Welcome to the world, baby white hole! Rovelli and his colleagues previously estimated that it would take a black hole with the mass equal to that of the Sun about a quadrillion times the current age of the universe to convert into a white hole. Even white holes with microscopic diameters could still be quite massive, just as black holes smaller than a sand grain can weigh more than the moon. These white holes would not emit any radiation, and because they are far smaller than a wavelength of light, they would be invisible. They simply bounce the light away and can't and won't swallow anything. A white hole would be no threat to objects in space passing dangerously close, nothing can even enter its event horizon. Unlike their evil twins, white holes are pretty much safe. Just like the color black is the opposite of white, the white hole is the opposite of a black hole in every way. Light cannot escape a black hole, so light cannot enter a white hole. This is referred to as a quantum bounce, a rebound from a black hole ingesting everything into a white hole expelling everything. This would obviously make a white hole incredibly bright. Maybe some of the light of the universe we thought was coming from supernova may actually be from white holes. So what could possibly connect these two? A wormhole. It might connect a black hole and a white hole with two separate universes connected at their horizons, also known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge. Some scientists claim that such bridges would be too unstable if they were real. This connection between a black hole and a white hole could potentially allow for time travel if one could stabilize said wormhole. Scientists believe they may have witnessed a white hole when a sudden burst of white light appeared out of nowhere and then vanished. Unfortunately, there haven't really been any other similar events recorded to study. Now, the most burning question. Have we detected a white hole? At least a small one? On June 14, 2006, an extraordinary powerful gamma-ray burst was sighted by the Swift satellite. From that moment, white holes became real. 
This gamma ray burst, called GRB060614, did not fit into the normal category. It lasted for a hardly imaginable 102 seconds, while regular bursts only last for a couple of seconds. It originated from, well, nowhere. The scientific community agreed to believe that it was a white hole spewing material before disappearing into space oblivion. We must not forget, black holes were once theoretical. White holes may or may not exist, but that doesn't mean that we stop questioning, wondering, and trying to unravel the mysteries behind them. Do you want to learn more about the unsolved mysteries of space? Type tell me more in the comments so we know who's interested. Don't forget to subscribe to Smart Banana to never miss a new video from us.